A question that I frequently face is what makes some blade steels better than others? What's primary determining factor that makes uh, some blade steels like this M390 a better blade steel than let's say OS8 or for example this LMAX blade better than let's say D2? Well, when we are talking about good and very good blade steels, we have to talk about the triangle relationship between the heat treatment, blade geometry, the grind, and the blade steel itself. All these three factors is what determines how good is a blade steel. The most important that we don't have control, the users, the consumers, is blade steel, um, heat treatment of the blade steel. So, for example, how do I know that this CPM S30V was tr heat treated properly? Uh, there is no way to find it out unless um, once we start using our knives, then we notice that the blade steel is not performing very well. And if the blade steel is not performing, meaning if the blade's chipping, if we have micro chipping, this could be because of uh, bad heat treatment, error, mistakes that do happen. Another reason also could be, I gotta mention it here, uh, some production knife companies use very high speed grinders that could burn the blade tip off. So you need to shave off a millimeter or two millimeter of blade steel to get to the healthy blade steel. And then your knife will perform as it should. But what if your knife is not performing well? Again, let's assume that heat treatment was not done properly. At that point, we can make that judgment call. So that's, that's something, the heat treating part, the heat treatment methodology, that's something we as users, we don't have any control of. We trust the brand, we trust the logo, we see whether it's Strider, Hinderer, Medford, we just have, uh, or Benchmade, ZT. We have certain degree of trust in the brand. What we have control of is the grind, the blade geometry. I think personally, I find the slimming triangle kind of a grind and geometry to work the best for me. Uh, I believe this grind, this is called chisel grind, if I am not mistaken. So you see how different, how completely different shape is this blade. So we have complete straight line here and uh, the way it's blade shaped. So in this sense, this knife will perform differently than this knife with the, its geometry and grind. That's something we as users have the ability and control to choose. And third is the blade steel itself, the composition, the characteristics of M390 and all the chemicals, how much of uh, molybdenum, vanadium, chromium we have in the blade steel, etc. So it's this triangle relationship, all the three factors that determines how good is the blade steel. Number one, again, it's the heat treatment. Number two, it's the geometry, the grind. And number three component, the blade steel itself, its chemical composition. That's, that's all, folks.